Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are doing a Road to Championship rebuild for the 2018-2019 Miami Heat. Uh, basically, what the series is, is we keep on rebuilding this team until we win the NBA Championship. So it could be three seasons, it could be five seasons, it could be ten seasons. You never really know. If you guys are enjoying this type of rebuild content, be sure to drop a like on this video here. And uh, let's go ahead, guys, and get started right on this. So pretty much... Um, this Miami Heat team, last season I thought they were pretty damn good. Uh, Sasan Whiteside totally gave up on the team. And uh, my first, infer like, my first like, task is to try to trade him away for something pretty decent if possible. Uh, Dwayne Wade just announced that he is going to play one final season for the Heat. And then he is going to retire from the game of basketball. Uh, we also got Drogic, who was an all-star last season. Uh, Josh Richardson, who I think is one of the most underrated players in the NBA. Uh, this dude was absolutely fantastic. We got James Johnson, who could start for us or could also come off the bench. He's a really good bench player, too, and everything. Uh, Deion Waiters should be back healthy. Uh, when he was actually playing for the Heat a few seasons ago, uh, if I remember correctly, like he was actually had like a career year. Yeah, man, he had, what, 16 points per game? I don't know if he'll return to that form this season, but we'll definitely see if he can do that. Uh, Kelly Olnick, good stretch big out there. Justice Winslow, who I still have faith in as a player that can be a solid 3 and D player, at least here in the NBA, at only the age of 21. Uh, Tyler Johnson, bitch-ass contract, man. I'm sorry, Tyler Johnson. You a solid player, dude. Like, I, I respect the stats, but uh, it's a bitch-ass contract. Wayne Ellington, uh, that's the opposite of a bitch-ass contract. Very good contract for the type of player he is. Bam, probably the future starting center of this team. Maybe even now, if, uh, you know, it's not wasting gets traded away. And some other guys out there, too. So, yeah, man. I was saying the first thing we want to do is try to trade away a sound white side. No idea what I can actually get from him at this point. I'm going to try to keep it somewhat realistic because, uh, you know, teams are not going to give up that much for a sound white side as of right now. Uh, so, what, we got JJ Redick, we got Robin Lopez, and Felicio. See, that right there I would consider more realistic because, like, it's a little bit of a swap. And, like, Robin Lopez, while he's not great, uh, he would help the team right now. His contract situation, it's also expiring, which uh, sound white side does have a... Uh, player options, so that contract's really for two seasons pretty much. We got George Hill, J.R. Smith. Uh, yeah, definitely don't want George Hill's contract. Daniel Gallinari, Chandler Parsons, Vince Carter, Alex Len. This trade's not too bad. I really don't want to trade us on white side just because... No, I'm not, not on white side. I'm sorry, man. Udonis has them just because, like, he's a heat for life out there. Uh, we got Marvin Williams, Cody Zeller, no, Zach Randolph, Ennis Cantor. This right here is actually kind of enticing because it's pretty much swapping out centers. I would say that it's not white side. You know, based off his defense and stuff like that, it would be a better fit alongside uh, Chris Thomas Porzingis and Ennis Cantor Wood. So that's something to think about. We got Vucevic and Timothy Bitch ass contract Mozgov. Oh my god, dude. Two years, $60 million. God damn, bro. Wesley Matthews, Mari Carroll, uh, Thaddeus Young, Blake Griffin, and John Luer. Paul Gasol for two seasons. Oh my god, dude. Some of these trades are like, I really don't want to do all that much. I'm thinking I'm just going to do this trade right here. Just get, like, the basic bitch-ass backup center and Robin Lopez. Get Oh, no. I, oh, my God. I don't want Felicio for three years. God damn, dude. I'm going to just have to hold on to this, man. Yo, Alex Len, Vince Carter. Let me try this trade out. I'm going to try taking Udonis off of it and throwing in, like, maybe a second-round draft. Oh, my God. We got no picks. We ain't got no picks, man. God damn, bro. All right. Let me try this. Uh, let me try tossing in, like, a... I don't know, Briante Weber, I guess. See if that gets it done, and they agree to the trade. Um, also, guys, give me one sec here because the Miami Heat should have their uh, draft pick this season, so I'm going to change that real quick. Okay, so this is what the team is looking like as of right now. I mean, it's definitely not all that great just because you really don't have that star player yet, um, which is kind of what I'm trying to set up to do next, you know, NBA offseason is try to, like, sign that big-time free agent out there. So, um, I definitely also want to try to shed away Tyler Johnson's contract. I, mean, I have no idea what I could get for him in a trade. Uh, we're going to see about that, man. So, yeah, we'll do this real quick here to see what it could be. So, uh, Robert Covington, we got Jared Bayless, Tony Snell. Definitely want to trade for, like, an expiring contract if possible. Uh, Marcin Gortat, which is a one-year deal. We also get Luke out there. So, that's not too bad, I suppose. It's not white. So, I'll bring him right back to the squad. Uh, Tony Parker, Cody Zeller, no. Derek Favors, no. Um, oh, my God, dude. Yo, we ain't getting no good offers up here, man. God damn, 2K. Damari Carroll only for one year. Also, Trayvon Graham, I guess. I kind of like that. Oh, Damari Carroll probably ain't going to be playing all that much for this team. So, uh, Norman Powell. We got Troy Daniels, Tyson Chandler. He's only on a one-year deal himself. And we got Troy Daniels. Good three-point shooter. You know what, man? Give me this tra uh, trade Trade right at the Phoenix Suns. We'll definitely do that. Um, next up, man. 
I can't really see what else more to really do. I definitely want to put Duncan Robinson into the uh, G League, though, because, like, he actually could be a really solid 3 and D player here in the NBA. I uh, was fantastic for Michigan, so we're going to sign him to the G League, maybe make him into a nice bench player. Also, might as well toss in Malik Newman while we're at it. Another shooting guard from uh, Kansas. From Kansas, I suppose. I don't really know much about him, guys. But, yeah, so let's go ahead. Uh, Alex Len is not going to be starting on the team. We are going to start Bam over him. And uh, we will definitely give him some minutes, though, off the bench. I will say that. And then also, yeah, we'll give him about eight minutes per game. Uh, Dwayne Wade. Do I want to start D. Wade? I don't think so. Because I don't feel like he's going to start in real life anyway. I think I'm going to give that start over here. No, wait. Let, let, me, let me try this out, man. Okay, let's do this. We are going to put Josh Richardson at the shooting guard position. He goes up to 80 overall. Looks good to me. Um... And then I'm thinking Dwayne Wade, back up point guard for now. I know his rain goes down, but I really don't think it makes that big a difference. Yeah, then we'll start Josh Richardson, Justice Winslow, switch out Alex Len once again for Bam, because I really want to start him. Uh, and we'll also give a few minutes here to Alex Len. Tyson Chandler's just going to be, you know, a veteran off the bench right there. And then all of a sudden, the star lineup with Goran Dragic, uh, Josh Richardson, Winslow, James Johnson, and Bam. Defensively, I feel like it's really solid. We have good floor spacing out there. Uh, do I think it's a playoff team? I don't know, man. It's going to be close. Because we have a very deep bench, which is a good thing. But that's about it. Uh, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and simulate this season. See how good this team does. If anything, we do have a pick in the draft. Who knows, man? Maybe we'll get a good draft pick and uh, get that next superstar here for the Miami Heat. Wow, man. 2K has absolutely zero respect for the Miami Heat. They gave them the 24-57 and record, 15th place in the Eastern Conference. I know damn well that Tyler Johnson sound white style was not the reason they did well last season. That's just uh, pretty much just saying that 2K cares about like superstars and stuff like that, not team basketball. I'm actually kind of upset because I know in real life this team is a lot better. I'm not even saying that as like a big time Miami Heat fan. I'm just saying that it's kind of facts out there. Um, here's the awards you guys see real quick. But it's all good, man, because this team is set up for success. It's just all about getting that big name, you know, free agent and stuff like that. I mean, I guess... I didn't really expect us to really be all that great uh, anyway this season. Like, I didn't expect us to, like, make the, or I guess uh, win, like, the championship. So, I guess I'll go for that lottery pick out there. Uh, let's check out the uh, player stats real quick, see who performed well. So, Drogic at 19 points, uh, 6 assists, about 5 rebounds. Deion Waiters did fantastic, 14 points, 3 assists, like seeing that. Josh Richardson, really good numbers himself. Um, Kind of debating I may be starting those two guys together next season, depending on who we draft and stuff like that. We got James Johnson, who did pretty good out there. I mean, good all-around numbers. Bam, he did he did nice. Uh, kind of like a little bit of like a poor man's DeAndre Jordan numbers right there. We got Justice Winslow, who good all-around numbers. Dwayne Wade did his thing off the bench. So, yeah, like the stats are all there. It's just we do not really have that superstar to take over for this team. Uh, so, yeah, man, simulate the rest of these playoffs real quick. See who wins it all. And I'm really not... I'm, I'm really not sure, like, who I will draft. I'm out to see, like, what pick and stuff we have and stuff like that, man. But, uh, I know there's, I know this draft class is very, like, guard heavy. So, we don't really need a guard all that much. But I think I'm going to go ahead, guys, uh, simulate to the NBA draft and see what pick we have. Okay, so we do have the third pick in the draft. We might as well go out, go ahead and check out some of these trades here real quick, see what they're all about. Uh, so we got Jabari Parker, Antonio, uh, Blackney. Uh, we have number seven pick Patrick Beverly, Mike Conley, Kyle Anderson, Rudy Gobert would be kind of cool, but uh, overall, man, I think I'm just going to go ahead and draft my player and see what we can get. I mean, there's some really solid options right here. Like, don't, like, don't get me wrong. Just, you know, I like drafting the players. It's always more fun. So, we have Nazir Little available. Small four. We got Zion Williamson, Je uh, Josh Green, Cameron Reddish, and Romeo Langford with Nazi and Reed. I'm looking at all these guys available. And, like, Zion Williamson is kind of, like, reaching out to me right here, man. 7-9 overall, 6-6 six, six, small four. That next just, like... This man has potential to be a superstar in the NBA with his leaping abilities out there. Uh, Three-point shot, something he needs to work on. He's only got 73 open shot three, but it's not too bad. But, yeah, man, I th I'm thinking this is probably the move. Like, I, I don't know where I'll run him at exactly. He's definitely going to start for us, but uh, that might mean, like, Deion Waiters has to come off the bench. Or maybe we can try Zion at, at power four. He's a little undersized for that. But, yeah, Zion Williamson, welcome to the Miami Heat. Okay, rookie signings. Yes, he is a 78 overall, I guess. For two years, we have him on his rookie contract. Team player option. Uh, Goran Dragic actually declined his player option. I was not really expecting that. Bam will definitely bring him back on that two-year deal. Uh, Ronnie McGruger, it's like he might be good trade bait. Or, or we might even play him, too. I'm not really sure. But uh, we definitely have a lot of guards on this team. Qualifying offers. Justice Winslow, we will extend it to him for about $4 million. Um, we got moratorium period. Okay, so here are the players available. 
um i've said from the start guys that, like ever since i knew like clay thompson was gonna be a free agent i, I love the idea of clay thompson on the miami heat i feel like he would just be like the perfect fit like that number one option this team really needs i'm definitely throwing him a, a contract like there ain't no way around now i'm throwing him a max contract he's that type of player that three point shot will be absolutely deadly for this team so here we go hopefully he wants to uh, come on the team for that because we'll check it out real quick and all right so to do this we are probably going to have to renounce some rights and uh yeah definitely on tyson chandler uh troy daniels yo, duncan robinson 74 overall no okay i might try to resign him back vince carter uh wayne ellington i kind of want to bring back maybe this is good enough right here okay we're still not Dwayne wade i'm probably just gonna like take him out of the game now now that he's supposed to be retired on here um haslam maybe it's time for him to retire that means we can get clay thompson still not yet oh my god dude okay what about this all right so i'm gonna renounce rights on goran Dragic. i definitely rather have him back um i i, I would definitely rather have clay thompson over Dragic at this point uh i don't feel great about it but yeah man that's the move i'm making out here so yeah clay thompson on the team so far uh let's get a moratorium preview to move on from that and all right we have clay thompson on the miami heat as far as other players available i can no longer afford goran Dragic. it feels wrong not having him on the team but uh you know it's just kind of the moves that we have to make out there and yeah because josh richardson probably gonna come off the bench now because clay thompson's gonna start although i'm still considering zion at the four spot since his backup is the four spot anyway so that might be the move so that way we can actually start josh richardson with clay thompson um we need a starting point guard though we currently do not have a starting point guard so let's check some of those out and i really don't need anybody too expensive Terry rosier would be absolutely beastly man god damn dude, i really want rosier um who else we got we got ish smith something that overall he's okay uh, i'm gonna throw him an offer it's 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 not the greatest option right now but it's an option for us so yeah we'll throw him an offer any other point guards that are kind of like cheap out there so i got Dwayne wave listed uh derrick rose nope can't afford him oh that'd be pretty sweet though uh tail dosage 76 overall might be a backup for this team all right so ish smith we got him um Tail dosage we got him okay so that'll be a nice little one two punch at the point guard position not fantastic but it'll be okay uh besides for that though guys i don't really see too much else going on here um at this point i can't really afford justice winslow anymore he is currently a 78 overall player uh but for 16 million dollars just not really worth it so i think i'm going to yo let me try to get that man duncan robinson back i think he's listed as a shooting guard currently actually so uh yeah where's he at because i still i still think he'll be pretty solid for this team there he is and oh he's not interested okay well you bitch ass can just stay off my team then man yeah guys uh, i think i'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season okay so this is what the team is looking like so far i'm definitely seeing an opportunity here to probably trade away james johnson for a uh i don't know, man try to get a better starting point guard out there because i'm just not confident ish smith's uh being able to run this miami heat offense by himself as a starting point guard and it's like we got wayne ellington for a backup small four we got kelly olnick for a backup power four so james johnson well i do think he's fantastic i don't think his services are any longer needed on this team uh so let's see what can get offered up a trade of yeah james johnson uh i'm even gonna do a future first round draft because i'm like that i don't know i'm that motivated to get a new starting point guard on this team although might not be like fantastic offers for us um i don't know i got some good ones out there but just like not that starting point guard i'm really looking for like darren collison's okay he's not like that much better than uh what's his name ish smith okay definitely not liking any of those at all let me try a trade of let me try james johnson i really don't want to trade wayne ellington but i will do it if it means getting a better starting point guard uh chris dunn that gives us like a little project at least no i also want to toss in that future first too man come on man come on man okay chris dunn uh he's only 24 he's only got one year left on his deal so eh, it's okay i guess frank kaminsky tony parker tim hardaway ricky rubio jonathan simmons all right i mean at this point i think i'm just gonna roll with what's his name dude like and then after the season maybe try to sign a new point guard because i don't know not really loving any of those trades but yeah this is what the team's looking like uh with clay thompson is kind of that you know kind of lone star of this team now plus the uh defense of josh richardson zion williamson being an explosive rookie out there we got bam now with 79 overall and pl plus a pretty damn deep bench uh guys i'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and simulate this season let's give us a few more minutes here let's give those to uh quinn cook be a backup point guard but yeah we definitely are not the worst team in the nba unless 2k thinks so i think we're definitely a playoff team let's simulate the season and see just how good this miami heat team can really do definitely a very close race here in the eastern conference for this season uh there's only four games that separates like myself between 
the sixth seed and also the second seed right there just behind the raptors uh similarly through date against the magic right here and yeah i'm gonna say like this time around i think anything can happen in any of these playoffs we got chris paul getting mvp uh zion williamson at rookie of the year at 16 points seven rebounds four assists one steal one block per game looks like he fit in right like right away at that power forward position i was a little nervous about that but even shot you know about 30 percent from three which shows promise i mean it doesn't show he's gonna be good it just shows that there's promise which is big time to see here are the all nba teams for you guys to see real quick here um all nba first all sec uh, all second all nba third i don't see clay thompson anywhere but that's all right i guess okay let's go ahead and check out the team and player stats so team stats looks like scoring wise uh probably like it looks like we we're probably towards the bottom of the nba yeah okay i guess middle of the road basically then defensively uh about top 10 team right there i kind of expect to be pretty good on defense player stats so clay thompson at 26 points four rebounds four assists how is that not all nba first team and that's exactly what this team needed zion williamson instantly the second leading scorer on this team josh richardson at 12 points four rebounds three assists providing just like that optimal role player niss out there Deion waiters doing great off the bench i'm really happy he's actually like accepting that bench role uh dish you know dish smith other man 11 points six assists that's okay like that's that's nice i like that james johnson great off the bench bam it's all right i wish the scoring was a bit better man it's, it's it's okay though it's okay like he doesn't really need to be a big time scorer but anyway man first round of the playoffs we do have Giannis and the milwaukee bucks that's gonna be a tough series simulate current round see how it goes and wow man we all just blew a freaking bitch ass 3-0 lead or something like that Giannis just going ham hey, on us 34 11 and 7 31 for clay thompson 17 12 and 5 for zion lost 132 to 120 how are we gonna be blowing a lead like that like somebody's gotta be freaking held responsible for that but it's all right it's all right the team's gonna get better we have clay thompson locked up for a few seasons we got zion williamson on his rookie contract for a few seasons it's okay guys it's all it's all good man y'all gotta calm down no I, I'm, I'm, I'm just joking man. i'm all calm um but i guess i'm gonna hit up the nba draft not gonna be a great pick i don't think if we were in the playoffs but it should be like something decent so yeah we'll see what we can do definitely going to be looking for a point guard okay so 22 trade offers i don't know what which pick it is looks like it's about 21st in the draft uh, so we might also see if there's any like decent point guards offered up to us patrick beverly marcin gortat that's pretty good it's how white sides uh getting traded once again it looks like ricky rubio i saw on there um all right i mean some decent ones out there but i don't think like patrick beverly's gonna make like that like that big a difference over ish smith right now so let's go choose prospects he was actually available we got uh cassius stanley we got nick alexander walker we got devon dodson tyler harrow um ao somebody lamello ball <laughs> all right man devon dodson from kansas 74 overall point guard not much of a three-point shot the next best point guard available is no ao 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 uh he also got a bad three-point shot I, my guys that can space the floor lamello ball 89 three-point shot 86 mid-range you know what guys i'm going for lamello ball come ball up on the miami heat okay rookie signings he is a 72 overall will definitely be in the g league for this season but that's all good uh team player options we got uh james johnson and kelly olnick both accepting their player options bam we're also gonna accept his team option that's fine uh qualifying offers uh ronnie mcgruger we didn't really use them all so i'm not gonna bring them back milos and also quinn cook i'll bring both those guys back on the team moratorium period okay so Drogic is now available we don't really have the money to afford him but i would love to bring him back on the team uh jeff teague's actually a pretty cheap option only seven million dollars a season we could actually afford him it gives us something for now i guess right so i'm gonna throw him the contract i'm gonna give him like seven million dollars for three seasons because if anything he'd be a good backup point guard in the future too you know assuming we get somebody else out there that plays a bit better um so yeah, he agrees to that contract that's perfect that's our new starting point guard. i know his range is gonna go down a little bit but that's okay um as far as other players available not really anybody that's like really standing out too much for me that i want all that bad alex len um that's also a really cheap contract for you know a 79 overall player so definitely like i definitely like to like lock those up pretty early if i can um anybody else anybody want got like that low low contract they're trying to get let's look at the bird rights real quick here nothing there so we should be fine with that um i don't know man i was pretty impressed with how we did last season like we weren't like the greatest team out there but we got to the playoffs so everything was fine with that justice winslow i would love to bring him back too but i don't know a lot of these guys just can't really afford yo d rose wants the cheap contract yo d rose on the mind that would be kind of fun to watch okay we can't afford him so now it comes down to this would i rather have jeff teague at 31 who uh looks like his stats last season not all that great 
definitely not all that great he's got 81 three point shot 82 mid range no he's a good point guard or derrick rose um who's actually cheaper too man like contract wise i feel like it kind of makes more sense I, actually i guess it's only like a million dollars cheaper but it's fine um you know what i actually think i'm gonna try out derrick rose derrick rose alex len on the team besides for that guys let's go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season okay so this is the team uh so far i think i'm gonna go the same route as last season and just kind of see like if there's any like decent trades out there for us to maybe upgrade the point guard position because derrick rose i would prefer to use them off the bench but uh there might not really be anything all that decent available so let's actually try a trade this time of i'm gonna try to trade with kelly olnick i think i'm gonna toss him in with uh i really like the way ellington we're not really playing him all that much but let me just actually try this with a first round draft pick too and see if that can get us a good starting point guard like 80 overall would be ideal but uh oh spencer dinwiddie yo that's actually something i can get behind man he'll see yo i actually uh his stats not really all that great <laughs> if i'm being honest like his uh passing's really good uh what the hell man why is it making me trade my first round draft pick from last year 2k's glitched ass games okay i'm not gonna worry about it then um i guess i'm just gonna go gonna going to roll this team d rose clay thompson that should be a nice little like duo right there josh richardson getting the start yet again zion williamson at 8 overall now or i could try this let me try putting zion at small forward he goes up to an 88 overall at the small forward position that's almost worth it and then starting james johnson alongside him uh because his three-point shot 77 81 so we can space floor for zion and then just use Josh Richardson off the bench this season around, see how that does for us. Um, I think I'm gonna roll that, guys. Yeah, man, that sounds pretty good from a balance standpoint. Uh, definitely gotta give some minutes here to the backup point guard. So I'm gonna take away those minutes from Alex Lynn, give those to Ish Smith, who was the starting point guard last season. Uh, that's fine. Although we probably have room to like upgrade our starting or our backup point guard position too, because we're not really using Wayne Ellington. So I might actually try to see what I can get him for in a trade. Uh, so yeah, let's try a trade with Wayne Ellington. I'm gonna even get tossed in Ish Smith. Yo, guys, give me one second, man. 2K's trade system is acting all up right now. Okay, so I found this trade right here at the 76ers. Uh, Ellington, Ish Smith, and also second rounder for Fred Van Vliet, who would be a nice backup point guard for us for now. Um, you know, maybe like long term or even maybe until LaMelo Ball becomes better. Because I am gonna put LaMelo into the G League for the season. So sign him the G League. And yeah, guys, now I think we're good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate this. I think I think believe this is the third NBA season. All right, so a record of 55 and 26, which is good for second place in the Eastern Conference. Looks like that uh, Zion Williamson and Klay Thompson duo is paying off here on this Miami Heat team. So 56 wins, uh, final in the season. Seth Curry MVP, James Wiseman Rookie of the Year, Dennis Schroeder six man. We got Drummond Defensive Player, Tyus Jones Most Improved, and uh, Nick Nurse as Coach of the Year. Um, All NBA first team looking like this. All NBA second and All NBA third with Zion Williamson actually making that now at a, at a uh, 90 overall player and only what is third nba season or second nba season whatever it is here let's check out these team and player stats hopefully we improved on the uh defensive side of things or on uh, offensive side of things i should say so yeah scoring wise we were a top six team so definitely did improve there and then defensively uh one of the best defense teams also so that's a good recipe player stats clay thompson at 22 points uh, about four rebounds four assists per game zion at 19 points eight rebounds five assists one steal about two blocks doing a little bit of everything uh derrick rose played fantastic like those are nice numbers for the contract we gave him 14 points and also five assists per game uh james johnson great numbers with josh richardson who i believe was off the bench this season like he's still playing to his role bam averaging the double double also the one block about all i want from him Deion waiters uh, providing some nice scoring fred van vliet good backup point guard numbers all right first round of the playoffs we do have the brooklyn nets i feel pretty good about this man like i feel like we can get pretty damn deep into the playoffs similar like current round and oh my god we're gonna lose first round guys oh my god man fuck this bitch ass game i'm sorry if, if you're a child watching this and your mom and dad just heard that I'm, i apologize okay i apologize oh my god man seriously though god damn yo oh my life okay guys well we on to the next season i guess first freaking round to the brooklyn nets we got philly getting better every single season by the way just won the nba championship we don't got time to freaking oh my god dude oh my life all right here we go um skipping the nba draft not gonna be a good draft pick anyway so i'm not gonna worry about it um so rookie signings yeah we end up getting tremaine mark from oklahoma he's a point guard sure man we'll sign him up he's yeah oklahoma i said okay we'll sign him up team player option zion definitely going to accept that two-year deal on him um qualifying offers bam 
for seven million dollars hell yeah y'all please believe i'm gonna I, uh, extend that to him moratorium period here we go so here are the players available to us bam is the fourth best um rated free agent available Drogic is really cheap now and i feel like for this contract i would have to offer to him man like bring him back to the heat i didn't really want to let him go before and that would be fantastic for us so he agrees to that um can i afford to cap hold james johnson i cannot but for 23 million dollars i really don't want to anyway so i'm okay with that Deion waiters he can probably walk away too at this point that's fine i'd rather get Drogic back on the three year you know really cheap deal um plus Deion waiters we could still it looks like we still afford him maybe let's get the moratorium here we'll get the, oh, we'll get out of the moratorium period i should say okay so Deion waiters we can still afford him i thought he was nice off the bench i'll give him this money right here to be a backup for us uh james johnson he wants 20 million dollars a season i'm not paying him that much money i'm just not so we'll get Deion waiters back um for the power forward position that's definitely an open position now kelly olnick is uh we definitely want to get him back on the squad now he'll probably be our starter three years that's all let me offer him was nine million dollars come on man come to the team for that please man okay we got kelly olnick for the three-year 30 million dollar contract it's a nice little offering um power forward position anybody else on here that we can really go for that i want all that much not really like, like nobody's like really like jumping out to me i'm fine with old nick starting right there um we definitely need a backup now i will say that so let's go for how much is thaddeus young okay he's uh i definitely can't afford him um who else man Ilya Silva is always nice patrick patterson good stretch big can only offer the minimum uh hopefully he comes on the team for that and he does all right um besides for that i can't really think too much more to do i can't really afford to do much more so i'm thinking it's time to probably just simulate to the beginning of the regular season um yo wayne ellington still a bit no we can actually wayne ellington back on the team so yeah i'm gonna get him for really cheap if i can he wants to play for the minimum yes he does all right man yeah i'm gonna simulate to the beginning of the regular season okay so here is the team going into this fourth season Drogic at point guard eight to overall now we got clay thompson zion uh kelly olenick and also bam off the bench we have josh richardson Deion waiters alex len and also derrick rose the mel ball, ball is probably not gonna play a lot this season or if at all um you know if we need like a backup or something like that because somebody fouls out then yes he'll play but i'm gonna roll this lineup for this season i like it a lot i love that we got Drogic back he just i mean he knows the offense and everything so let's go ahead guys simulate this next season see just how good this team can really do so there is a clear favorite here in the eastern conference that being the toronto raptors this season uh, we are third place with a 47 and 34 record could potentially go up to second or even drop down i think so yeah man you would get a second place there mvp going to Giannis. uh we got isaiah todd rookie of the year mikhail bridges joel Embiid, and troy brown jr gets more awards nick nurse once again coach of the year. this dude is just freaking op on this game all nba first team uh all nba second and all nba third with zion getting on that who the hell is this man N nefeli dante i just i don't know man that name just really like stood out to me for some reason all right uh let's check out the player stats on the season we have clay thompson at 23 points three rebounds three assists zion at 18 points eight rebounds five assists Drogic picking up right where he left off for this team dropping 13 points and getting the eight assists per game uh bam getting better at the scoring each season so i definitely want to look to re-sign him although it's gonna be kind of expensive but i think i'm gonna go for it olenic did nice as the stretch big on this team d rose good backup point guard numbers all right man uh first round of the playoffs we do have the cleveland cavaliers similar current round and got them four games to zero maybe i shouldn't talk about my offseason plan so quick maybe i'll win it this season zion at 79 9 and 5 and that close all game with two steals and two blocks next up the 76ers similar current rounds and all right man we got them four games to two there we go baby we might actually get to the nba finals this season because uh the raptors got knocked out by the magic in the first round wow dude you look at bomb and barry go okay and here we go man and ooh, okay we just lost four games to to the milwaukee bucks i had a feeling we were not going to get past them like if i'm being quite honest but whatever bro we got another season to go here man we don't stop man can't stop won't stop gotta build this team all right uh let's go to rookie signings not gonna worry about the nba draft this time around either because it's not gonna be a great pick and yeah rookie signs we don't have a draft pick so that's fine uh team player options um clay thompson accepted his zion we are going to accept his little ball we are also going to accept his of course qualifying offers uh nothing with that free agency all right so here are the players of yo lebron you want to come back play for the miami heat baby come on man come on man no uh i can't really think of anybody i really want to sign all that much i'm just kind of like working with this team some more trying to develop them even more out there 
so i definitely want to re-sign bam he is unrestricted i don't want to like risk like lose him or anything like that uh he's only 24 and he's already putting up really good numbers so i'm gonna give him like 25 million dollars a season little pricey but it's all right man so he agrees to that okay so that was a very expensive signing but you gotta do what you gotta do out there sometimes to win basketball games don't quote me on that uh okay so as far as other players available Thaddeus Young I would love to add to this team still here too I don't know if that'll be possible or not oh we actually can okay so he might actually be our starter this season um or maybe off the bench not really sure we'll, we'll see how things go we'll see how things go uh besides for that though man I'm looking at some more players here nothing really standing out all that much uh we're probably gonna have a little mellow be back up point guard now so D Rose but only for one million dollars like I could find a little sign and trade action right there you know what I'm saying man? I'll find a little sign and trade maybe so D rolls for the one-year deal okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season okay so it's kind of a weird lineup we are going with this season uh not from the starting lineup standpoint because that's looking pretty much normal but our bench unit I'm actually going to put Deion Waiters at small forward I'm just kind of like plugging in guys so we can play all these guys at once Josh Richardson going to power forward he's gonna be like the stretchiest stretch four of all time Lamella Ball going to shooting guard. Derrick Rose at the point guard position. We still have that as young on this team here too, man. Like, the team's actually sacked as hell. Um, I don't even really know what to do with it at this point, man. We got, like, a lot of really good players. But you know what? Yo, I might actually be able to do this, man. Let's, let's, uh, let's try some stuff out here real quick. Let's do a trade of Thaddeus Young with Derrick Rose. See what that could get us. It could be pretty damn good. Um, but chances are I probably won't do anything and just keep my team as is because I like how it's constructed. So, yeah, not doing any trades here. Uh, like the team it's it's good man it's definitely good uh, i think i'm gonna go ahead though simulate this season see just how good this team can really do so all of a sudden uh the hornets are the best team in the nba or the eastern conference i should say um for us third place in the east as of right now simulate through date against the wizards finished with a w on the season so yeah third place i don't know man i i, I know i'm kind of like a broken record at this point we could get it done in the playoffs or we could just lose because that seems to be our forte as of late but uh yeah we don't have zion making the all nba team this time around so kind of curious to see how much his stats actually fell off um let's check out the player stats real quick so clay thompson 23 points three uh rebounds four assists zion at 19.7 rebounds five assists olenic our third leading score was not really expecting that uh which doesn't really tell me like it's, i'm not really like confident about the rest of the players in this case but it was pretty much a lot of balance scoring outside of clay and zion um all nba for or i'm sorry not will be first team actually I'm, I'm so deep into this rebound i'm just like losing my mind now uh first round of the playoffs we do have the brooklyn nets they've given me trouble in the past and they really upset me earlier similar current round and got them four games to one close out game looking like this for us 24 for uh, clay 13 for richardson 12 for tragic and zion just didn't really do all that much that game next up the 76ers similar current round and got them four games the one very nice close out looking like this for us yo they got mellow on this team interesting very interesting next up we have the uh number one c toronto raptors similar current round and they just got me four games to zero yo this rebuild this might be my longest one to date i don't think it's that far yet but it's, it's getting there man it's definitely getting there we are going to make a big time move this nba offseason or this is just going to take forever so we going uh we going straight to rookie signings as per usual when it gets this damn deep into it because at this point i don't even recognize players or i don't know anybody so yeah elvin mason not coming to my team bro okay team player option uh, lamello and Traymon mark sure we'll bring both those guys back qualifying offers um definitely excited that design although he's worth a lot more than that but then moratorium so here are the players available devin booker christophs porzingis okay this is where it gets interesting like do i want to bring back clay thompson yo i can just i can barely i can like, like just like barely not afford chris stops yo let me try some things here man uh let's renounce some rights here uh alex len d rose hopefully that will allow me to throw a better contract at chris stops now because he would be a nice move for us yo let me just come on man come on man come, come on chris stops come on man come on the scene bro come on man okay he's thinking about it and he's going to the new york knicks understandable understandable um so i guess we go back for clay oh yo I, oh no okay i think i renounced rights on clay thompson next i did not mean to even do that sorry i'm gonna get him back though okay we got clay um zion where's zion at oh my god where is zion bro what the hell man where the fuck is zion no oh my god 
Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 man. Yo, what's going on? Bro, why can't I get Zion on my team? I'm Zion for Zion, man. Yo, that was the worst thing ever. Okay. Yo, Thaddeus, get the hell off my team, bro. I got, I got guys, I, I got, I got to save some money somehow. Uh, yo, y'all, just give me some second round draft picks. I don't know what it is. Oh, my God, dude. All right. You know what, man? I'm upset. I'm so upset right now, guys. What, what happened? I didn't even see what happened, man. Like, it just... Because the shit... I don't people are going to say, well, Chris, you're announced right time. Well, the shit guy fucking tell me about that shit, man. This shit don't tell me that, man. Oh, my God. I guess we got old-ass James Johnson. Same song and dance going back on this team. Oh, my God, guys. James Johnson going to the bitch-ass Hawks. Yo. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking low-key going to trade away. Bam. Because I got to make sure I get this dude back in my team. You know what I'm saying, man? Oh, my God. I can't even find him anywhere. I can't even find a good offer that will allow me to get Zion back in my team. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to trade Bam, guys. You know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. I'm done. Okay, so this is the team as of right now. I mean, it's definitely not all that great, but it's the best I got. I'm actually going to go to uh, Trade Finder and see what I could get. To somehow re-sign the man back, guys. Because I don't even know what happened with that. So, let's check this out real quick. Uh, if I can find him anywhere. Yo, where, where you at, bro? What team did you go to? Maybe, what, guys, what if he's still a free agent? Like, what if he's just a free agent and he did not... Okay, there he is. Zion on the... Oh, my God. Of course, it's not white side. Oh, my life. Yo, this Hawks team is looking freaking crazy, man. Oh, my God, bro. All right. Uh, this is my team. I mean, it's still championship material, I think. So... I don't know, guys. I'm going to go ahead and simulate this next season. Not feeling too good about it. So, as expected, not my greatest moment, man. Uh, seventh in the Eastern Conference, 41 and 40 on the season. This team definitely is going backwards. Uh, we got to fix that. So, here are the awards you guys see real quick here, man. But we got Lamelo Ball getting a uh, most improved player, at least. So, he's looking promising. Y'all just see freaking Greg Popovich is coaching the Clippers now. All right. Here we go. Player stats on the season. I want to look at these, man. I want to look at these. Uh, but that's what it's looking like. Lamella Ball, Ball, our second leading scorer on the team. All right, our uh, first round of the playoffs, we do have the Charlotte Hornets. Similar current rounds. And, well, we did beat them four games to two. So, that's looking pretty good. We got Clay Thompson at 34 points. 18 for Lamella Ball. Next up, we do have the Orlando Magic. Similar current round here. And, yo, oh, yo. And look at that, man. The Brooklyn Nets is a uh, fisty. So, we could potentially... Yo, the mellow ball, big ball of brand taking over, man. Yo, here we go. Brooklyn Nets. Similar current round. Oh, my God, guys. We are in the NBA Finals. Bro, what the hell, man? Against the 60 Phoenix Suns, which is definitely beatable. Oh, my God. This could actually... Wow, is this team... Oh, my God. Similar current round. Oh, no, man. No. No! Here comes the bitch ass sons. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that was our time. Wow, that is literally like that's like the like the worst suffering game seven I've ever had in the history of me even knowing what basketball is. That hurt more than any game seven I've ever been upset about. <laughs> oh my god, man. Wow. And I know our money situation ain't looking great. I know it's not, man. I know it's not. Let's get this moratorium period. Who's actually available? Yo, Zion. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my God. We could actually get the man back on the team. I don't know how. I don't know how. But this dude's getting, uh, this dude's getting a freaking nice-ass contract. Okay, so I got to renounce rights on literally my whole team. But I, I don't care, man. The only one I wish I could keep is LaMelo. Let, 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 me, let me do that. Yo, does that, does that allow me to keep... Oh, my God. I, you know what? It's worth it, guys. Let me get Zion back on this team. Oh, my God. Okay, that makes it worth it. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Me as a person, I'm okay now. It was just one season. We had, we had, you know, we had to be away. But we found each other again. Okay, LaMelo Ball, he won $24 million. That shit not going to happen on my squad. Please believe me. We got that Nigel Gloss guy back, too. So, he's he'll be, he'll be okay. Um... But, yeah, we definitely don't have a lot of money freed up this season. So, you know, let me get this Laundry Shamit. He's uh, 80 overall, so he'll be okay for us. Got him on the squad. Um, I know, like, our depth is not going to be very nice. Kelly Olnick, we can still afford him. So, we might as well throw him the contract back on the team here. 
Uh, besides for that though, guys, I'm just gonna roll with the team. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the end of the regular season. All right, so here is the team, guys. This one right here, I think, can get it done. We got our boy back. We got Clay Thompson. We got Laundry 79 overall at point guard. Uh, really good three point shooter, so we can space the floor. Kelly Olnick at power forward. Bam at center. Bench unit is looking good. This is the best I feel about this team in seasons, man. In seasons. Hopefully, this is the one that ends it all. Let's go ahead, guys. Simulate this next NBA season so we win that NBA championship. 50 wins on the season, uh, just as good as anybody else in the Eastern Conference when it comes to having a chance at getting to the NBA Finals. Simulate through date and finish the L on the season, so that's always promising. Um, here are the awards real quick for you guys to see. Just because, yo, we got Sharif getting most improved player on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, Zion making All-NBA first team. We got uh, All-NBA second, All-NBA third, so just the one guy making that. All right, player stats real quick here. Um... Okay, so Klay Thompson, wow, ball out, man. 26 points, having one of his better seasons at the age of 34. This reveal is not going well. Freaking Klay Thompson's 34 years of age. Zion, look, uh, numbers looking like that. Laundry Dick Gray is our starting point guard. Bam with the double double. Here we go, guys. First round, the Atlanta Hawks. Simulate current rounds. And. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. I'm going to simulate to the end of the next season. Let me just say, if you are this deep in the video, guys, you are the real MVP. Let me know in the comment section below if you are still watching. Uh, one more game, man. We are in the uh, 2025th NBA season. Simulate through date against the Hawks. First the L in the season. We are in second place, though. So, Zion Williamson actually an MVP at 28 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists. Here are the rest of the awards real quick for you guys all to see that uh, care about it at this point. Although, there's a lot of players I really don't know about. Um, here are also the player stats. After Zion had his best season yet. Uh, Clay Thompson looked like the, you know, the number two option, although he's got to be retiring pretty damn soon on this rebuild. But here we go. First round of the playoffs. We do have the Toronto Raptors. Assimilate current round. And don't lose, guys, please. Oh, okay. Got him in seven games. Zion, 28 and 14. Four assists. Next up, the Charlotte Hornets. Assimilate current round. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. 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 <laughs> I can't give up, guys. I can't do it. It's road, to, it's road to championship. It's road to championship. Guys, I will see you on the next NBA season. Okay, so we are literally so deep into this rebuild that Zaire Wade, Dwayne Wade, son, who we started off with, man, with Dwayne Wade, is now 23. I'm going to do this trade because Bam ain't really doing much for us, and I want to get the other Wade here on the team. I feel like that would be a nice little, like, you know, full circle thing if he can help us win the championship. Um, and that allows us to probably trade away Clay Thompson now. I have no idea who I'm actually going to trade him for, but we'll free up a ton of money. At least it should, like, in the long run of things. So here we got Markel Fultz and Larry Nance Jr. I actually like that trade a lot. Um, Greg Brown, no idea who that is. Rudy Gobert, Maurice Wagner, Kemba Walker, no. Nazir Little, no. Mohamed Bamba, who is, I mean, I thought he was, like, I thought he was taller than 7'1", isn't he? No, he's got, like, a 7'10 wingspan, but uh, might be a good option for us. But no, man, I think I'm going to go with this Markel Fultz, Larry Nance Jr. trade because he gives us a good starting center and Markel Fultz is the beast himself. So yeah, we'll do this. Uh, cause we got to do something, man. We got we definitely got to like reshape how this team is looking. And then the lineup, you know, we got players looking like that for us. So yeah, man, uh, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of next NBA season. It's been 73 years here, guys. It's been 73 years where it might get to the point where we might actually see Dwayne Wade's great, 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 great grandchildren in here in the NBA. 50 and 31. One more game against 76. They're simulate through date. Finish the W on the season. First place in the Eastern Conference. Zion Williamson yet again getting the MVP award. Uh, Zier Wade, most improved player, 20 points, six assists for him getting that starting, you know, shooting guard position. So, yeah, man. Here we go. Player stats on the season. All you saw, you know, our, our main guys out there. Marco, full 70 points, 11 assists. Larry Nance putting up the, uh, you know, the, uh, I forgot the dude's name, man. I forgot his name. Um, the BAM's numbers, like the same type of numbers that he was putting up. Well, here we go, man. First round of the playoffs. 76ers. Simulate current round. And, come on, man, please. Okay, got him four games, too. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, man. 30 and 12. Zier with uh, 25. Next up, the Bulls. Simulate current round. Got them four games to zero. Close out game looking like this. Nearly a triple double for Zion. Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> okay guys so some trades went down that i am not proud of i am not proud of these trades at all 
Trey Burke has been traded for Dylan Brooks and Jetty Osmond. That one's fine. I'm, I'm okay with no, we had no we yeah, we we traded away Trey Burke. I also brought back Hassan Whiteside. Not because I wanted Hassan, but because he was in a trade that involved Trey Young. For some reason, I cannot get W with Zion Williamson, so he had to go. Also got Jetty Osmond. So uh no, he trade he got traded away. And I traded Markel Fultz for Kawhi Leonard, and I traded back for Josh Richardson. Yes, guys. While we do have Wade on the team, we also got Hassan Whiteside. But we also have a record of 55 and 26. So you know what, man? Had to do what I had to do. Oh my god, we, we, I swear to God. Okay, Trey Young got MVP for us at least. But I swear to God, man, if, if I have to do another season, if I have to do another season, I, I might just lose my mind. It might just be GG. It, it, it might just be over, man. So, oh my god, it's, it's starting to freaking glitch on me here. I've never been so deep into a rebuild. I've never been so deep into a rebuild in my entire life. It's not white side. Pretty good numbers, actually. Just saying, man. Just saying. Okay. First round, Chicago Bulls. Simulate current round. Oh, my God. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Bulls just blew a 3-0 lead. Close out game looking like this. Josh Richardson balling out, man. 29 points. 24-9-16 for Trey Young. Next up, the Indiana Pacers. Got them four games to one. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Zero away, 32-10. Orlando Magic, seem like current round. It got them four games to zero. We are in the NBA Finals against Dallas Mavericks, seem like current round. And just like that, guys. After all these trials and tribulations, whatever that word is, we have won the NBA Finals. Trey Younger, Finals MVP. The most tedious rebuild in the history of rebuilds. The most. I'm just done. I'll see you on my next video, guys. Hope you all enjoy. You all better drop that like, man. If you watch this entire video, man, let me know in the comment section below. You a true trooper out there. Peace out, man.